I started drinking a lot. Uh, I really just didn't know. I, I grew. I made myself grow up fast because I was incarcerated with nothing but old, older guys, and you know, uh, these guys that know my father in there. You know, so they pretty much had my back. There was no incidents in which you know guys kind of you know, looked at me as being a, a child or anything in there or nothing like that. No rape and none of that going on, so. Six weeks after being unemployed and still not working yet, of course, uh, my wife and I had a had uh, a difficult week. A lot of things took place, but uh, foremost among those was having a, a fairly drawn out argument about money. And then I couldn't do probation and parole. I kept just, you know, get. And then, and then because because I was out on probation and parole, I couldn't work. So I just had to go back to the criminal element until they caught me. And it just was a vicious cycle. They got put out. I tried uh, sleeping out by the railroad tracks in between the tracks. <laughs> Carrying a bag or personal belongings, you know, you take your shoes, you tie them to your bag, you know, you put the bag up under your head or, you know, you got to strap it to you. You need to look out for, uh, well, for, well, for starters, what you keep in your wallet <laughs> or even bringing a wallet or money or cash or anything that has value. I would, uh, if you're going to play the homeless role for a day, you leave those things at home.